My name is Autumn. I'm a mother, a maker, a teacher and a shop owner. And welcome to my world. I grew up in quite, I would say, conservative um, household. However, my mother was incredibly creative with interiors and my paternal granny, she was a knitter, but she was also an artist, a painter. And then on my mother's side, my grandmother, she was the most incredible seamstress. I was kind of a mercenary. I was never actually taught by any of them. It was just more about seeing and I think it just filters into you. Just before 2000, um, we had four small children um, and my husband had always lived abroad as a child and he really wanted that experience for our children. We ended up moving to Seattle in the year 2000. It's exactly 20 years ago in July that I arrived on an aeroplane with four little ones. And I think at that point we were just on, on the cusp of Etsy appearing. So I looked at what Etsy was, and I, all I knew was I, I wanted to be a part of that. Um, and it just ignited something in me. Um, and so I set up an Etsy account um, and it gave me a platform for my making. And then I saw that people were doing a thing called blog or blogging. It seemed to go hand in hand. If you were a maker and you had a, an Etsy store, you needed a blog. So I set up a blog. Um, but at this point, I needed a name. Um, and the name I came up with was Dottie Angel. And I just penned those words. And then suddenly out of the wings, Dottie Angel just appeared in all her glory, in all her finery, all her bohemian amazingness. I morphed into Dottie Angel. Dottie Angel was always inside of me. I just allowed her to come out. And that's very true because no matter what I do even now, she's always there. So my love of woolly tattooing started when I took a job a few years ago in a local yarn store that was opening up. And it triggers this need. I want to be able to use all these colors and all these fibers, and yet I'm not truly knitting. And I believe it was in a Japanese uh, craft magazine or book, I saw somebody had stitched with wool. And I was like, that's genius. Of course, of course you that. Um, and so I just took my knowledge of embroidery, which was very simple stitches, and I had a pair of mittens and started to stitch on them. I coined the phrase woolly tattoo because I was looking, well, you're putting this on a sweater and you're placing it where you may put a side tattoo on your body. I'm gonna do it in wool on the side of this sweater. So fast forward, I was really fortunate to revisit Loop in their new space. Um, they've been there a little while with my friend Emily Chalmers took me in to meet Susan and unbeknownst to me she knew kind of who I was and what I've been doing and reached out and said we're making this book to celebrate our 10 fabulous years of uh, being loop and would you like to participate and would you like to offer up an awoolly tattoo pattern um, which I was absolutely honored and delighted to and also a little panicked because it involved a knitting um, and that's how that came about and then I was even more blown away when I saw they made the front cover and I have to say out of all the many years of making that was one of my proudest moments. At the same time as finishing with Dottie Angel all of my children was leaving home and 
I felt very much that there was a big chapter in my life coming to an end, yet I had no idea how the next chapter would begin. I started a, a small side company with my youngest son, Marlon, but he's actually the business behind everything. And we coined the name Curious & Co. It was a family name, so it was a play on the word company. Um, and so when we started off, we found a little space and we, we started our atelier in a much smaller space. And that point where we said, okay, we need to go big or go home. And an old building became available and we just signed on the dotted line there and then. That's what we did and it was crazy and it was mad, but in the last few months we've opened the Curious Atelier.